See, we've come from the four corners of a shattered earth to give birth to a new direction. You see, I've had some time for reflection and instead of constantly deflecting rejection and hard knock lessons, I've learned to embrace the haters and bring pain to the forefront of my mind. So when I step to the mic, my voice echoes my grind, telling tales of a time when my father and my father's father battled bigotry and slave for incompetent slave masters to forge a better life for their sons who followed after, and that's me. Born in the womb of one of Asia's most royal of queens, the Chinese, who built this country from bare hands and sticks of dynamite, who slaved over steel snakes through the coldest of winter's nights, whose skeletons lie in democracy's closet, they are my bloodline. My namesake, my spotlight, highlighting years of oppression that gave way to fears of rebellion and now my people sit in Vancouver's Chinatown, laying tracks in their arms the way they laid tracks for this nation, white arms that beat them down like slaves on a plantation, gunshots and rock slides causing racial devastation, discrimination, giving birth to a generation of warriors so far away from home, but now it was here outside the Great Wall that we truly found our mission to be divine beings in a land stolen from native hands. To reconcile race and bond together brothers. See, I pick up a hammer, but it's not to drive spikes, more so to nail the planks to hold this nation together. See, our struggle was here, and our pain was severe. But now the past is but a distant memory that only serves to inspire new strength within. We are one people, and this is our home. So let us now leave this legacy of brokenness behind us and begin the long journey back to our throne.